A healthy gut is formed by tightly tethered cells protected by a thick mucus layer. Together, they prevent the infiltration of gut bacteria into the lamina propria, where they can cause inflammation and infection. An underlying network of blood vessels help recruit immune cells into the lamina propria, where they fight the inflammation-causing pathogens. In IBD, various factors trigger events that eventually lead to chronic inflammation of the gut. Initially, gaps appear between the tightly tethered gut cells and the mucus layer becomes thinner. The disruption of this barrier allows for the infiltration of bacteria into the lamina propria, where local cells respond by secreting cytokines, such as TGF-beta and TNF-alpha, to attract immune cells to fight the pathogens. Cytokine secretion causes an increase in circulating immune cells, such as T-cells, that home to the gut. Additionally, cytokines upregulate the expression of MADCAM1 and VCAM1 on blood vessels. Alpha-4 beta-7 and alpha-4 beta-1 expressing T cells traveling in blood vessels bind to the MADCAM1 and VCAM1 respectively on the surface of blood vessel cells permitting migration into the lamina propria. Pro-inflammatory cytokines activate these T cells, resulting in additional cytokine production, further propagating the immune response. Furthermore, TGF-beta secretion by gut cells leads to increased expression of alpha-E-beta-7 receptors on T cells in the lamina propria, allowing T cell binding to E. cadherin expressed on the surface of gut cells. As a consequence, these immune cells are retained within the lamina propria where they continue to secrete cytokines, which promotes inflammation and damage to nearby gut cells. Etrolizumab, with its investigational dual mechanism, is hypothesized to bind to the alpha-4 beta-7 receptor expressed on traveling immune cells and prevent their binding and migration into the lamina propria via MADCAM1. Meanwhile, T cells expressing the alpha-4 beta-1 receptor travel through the blood vessel and continue to bind to VCAM1, entering the lamina propria. T cells in the lamina propria when exposed to TGF-beta start expressing alpha-E-beta-7 receptors. Etrolizumab, in its hypothesized secondary mode of action, is predicted to bind to the alpha-E-beta-7 receptors on T cells. It is believed that this may prevent T cells from binding to e cadherin expressing gut cells and is thought to block their cytotoxic effects. Thus, it is hypothesized that the blocking of alpha-E-beta-7 receptors by atrilizumab allows the cells to egress out of the gut and to the lymph nodes and may prevent damage.